Yo, what's up guys? Good morning. Hope you're all doing very well. So you're about to watch a live trade of mine that I just took with the elite group today. So every single day, my elite tier trading group, what we do is I jump on the computer, I start hunting for a trade, I do a market scan, and I tell everybody the coin that I'm basically going to be looking at to trade. I'm gonna talk about my exact entry as well, and also my exits as well. So this way, everybody gets a chance to either join me on the trade or learn a tremendous amount from it as well. Every single month, I let five people join my elite tier private trading group. But this month, it filled up already, but I'm gonna let one more, simply because lots of people are DMing me. Whoever gets to it first, man. So enjoy this live trade. If you guys wanna get into my elite tier private Discord trading group, DM me before it fills up. Let's go! Okay, good morning, Elite Group, or good afternoon, rather. Let's jump right into um, today and um, talk about what we can possibly trade today. Just to forewarn you guys that I'm not gonna be day trading much today because um, I'm just too tired to day trade, to be honest. I'm, I'm really tired to day trade. I only day trade for the Elite Group, that's the truth, not really for the profits because um, my longer term holds and my shorter term holds, they highly exceed my day trading profits. So, but of course they add to it, you know, every percent, every 2%, every 5%, they add up. But let's jump right into it. The first thing that we always do is we jump into the screener, which I need another monitor for that I'm going to get right away. So the screener is going to basically tell you what is hot right away. So IO just, just pumped, just pumped extremely hard. Okay, so IO, and other than that today, you know, there's other coins like Ondo, Wi-Fi that have been trending longer term. But in terms of shorter term, uh, nothing right now, today, specifically right now. So we see IO move to the upside here. So I would recommend looking for a resistance further back. So you can see it's actually out of resistance right now. But something that we've noticed about these types of resistances is that they, and if I fucking saw that resistance earlier, I would have shorted it and I'd be up. So maybe if it makes another attempt up there, I might try to short it again, right? But this is a really wild drop right now where it's already dropped like 5%. So I think the opportunity is now done. You don't want to be chasing a coin like this, man. It's very, very volatile if you've noticed. But it seems like it might double top there. It might make another wave. Other than that, like, um, man, coins are slim pickings today. Like, because they've been so overextended already that it's very difficult to be looking at them right let's go to the crypto screener and see what has been trending like i'm gonna i'm gonna reset this screener of mine i got so many coins man my watch list let's just start over from the watch list and go from there so io and grass what's grass this is a new coin this is added so i'm gonna add that to my my screener so I'm gonna make sure you guys are adding new coins to the watch list all the time. I've never seen this before, so I know every single coin, man, I'm telling you. I know this is a new coin that's added probably. Right, there you go, just added. So because of that, I'm also going to add it to the crypto screener. So this is basically how I, how I, how I do it. Every time there's a new coin, I add it to my crypto screener, so this way I'm always caught up with everything. This way it doesn't really require a lot of updating. Right, so now grass is added to my crypto screener as well. I mean, my, I mean my advanced volatility indicator. So, so now let's take a look at what's been hot today. So we're rebuilding our watch list. Let's go to I go to daily, and then I go to monthly, and then it's going to tell me for the month what coins are very hot, and then I'm going to see which ones are trending the most, right? For the month, we see that mood. You know, all these big coins. You know, they should be in your watch list that's been trending a lot. Basically, everything over 30%. Okay, everything over 30% add to your watch list. Everything over 30%, guys, add to your watch list. Okay, and then you're basically going to go down each one of these coins that are more volatile and see if you can find something to trade. So my cutoff is going to be 30. So now I got a lot of coins in the watch list here, as you can see. So I'm going to look at it on a slightly higher time frame. So IO is going to be a high priority coin. So I'm going to move that to, to my high priority. Okay. So, so these guys, these guys are all, these guys are all like basically like weekly, weekly, monthly gainers. Do you see this weekly and monthly gainers, right? So I'm going to put that on there. 
Do you guys understand that, what I'm doing right now? Right, so those guys are gonna be the coins that I'm basically watching. And then there's gonna be other ones where I'm waiting for a pattern to form or high priority ones to watch. So I'm dividing my watch list up very equal, like in a way where I can monitor it. So grass right now looks like actually a very, very good coin to be trading very soon, if not already. Because this formation for grass is actually making a fifth wave, A, B, C, D, E. And I think that it's literally reaching a top soon. So I'm going to post this right now to you guys. Here, I'm watching grass and maybe a fifth is forming soon. So I'm going to post this to you guys right now to make sure that you see it. So make sure you're following that. Okay, so I don't know if it's really the fifth or not, but it's a really good coin to be taking a look at today, grass. Okay, so grass is right away the number one coin that I'm noticing that's doing something reasonable where I can maybe trade this soon because this structure is normally like a, like this looks like a third, this looks like a fourth wave that, that is formed. But you don't want to, you want to be kind of careful with this coin because it's a newer coin you just don't know yet, right? So, so you, you really don't know. But I think that I'm going to nibble at this market with like, with like a $5,000 entry because this might have been, so I entered with $5,000 right now just to kind of nibble at it to see how it's going. Okay, so may, maybe this is a top because the thing about grass is maybe it's going to make a, a curvature like that, right? But the moment that it breaks above there for like a 1%, 2% loss, I'm out. Okay, so that's how it's pretty much going to be. It's just a nibble at the market. Okay, it might go higher because we just don't know, right? But this looks like it's a possibility maybe, maybe of a fifth wave actually forming already. Okay, so this is a decent coin right now to be looking at. Okay, so we'll keep this on the trading now. Okay, I'm clearly on the trading now. Let's go to mood. So now we're gonna go to a slightly higher time frame to see what things are trending like. So, so mood is like, um, I don't know about that, right? I don't know about that. Cause it already had its big drop. So we're just gonna keep on the list. I don't know about that either. Doge, they're all the same. If you look at Doge, oops, my bad, my bad. So I have, I have USB, USDC here as well. So I'm gonna, hold on, give me a second here. I gotta do this better. 30 second and also two minute. So one second. I like the way grass is looking because it's maybe going to make a fifth wave. So because of that, like it's looking good eventually to short like to add more, I'm not, I'm going to stop myself out for a tiny little fifty dollar loss. You know, it's it's not a big loss to me, right? Because it looks like it's about to break out of there, right? So I'm just going to close my short position for basically no loss at all, and then I'm going to reevaluate when I figure out what it's doing. So this is not something that bothers me. Maybe it'll even double top here, right? So I'm just looking at it very very carefully, but you know, it's not a big loss. It's a hundred dollar loss to test the market. And it made a higher high now. This actually might even be the higher high. That that's the fifth wave now, right? So, this is a, a good possibility, right? Do you see? It just actually rejected at the double top there. So, because because it's about to maybe double reject there, I think I'm gonna add more to it soon. So let's just keep moving down the list because I got my other monitors watching it very closely. So I don't need to really, you know, be too too into that right now. Okay. So. So we see like, you know, ADA, Cardano has been, uh, you know, a, been a very big powerhouse of how it's been trending. But I want you guys to know that Cardano maybe has another potential wave to the upside. So make sure that you're looking for uh, like a Cardano. I'm going to put it to a greater. So we're hunting for a, a higher high on Cardano because there might be a, a possibility to long it or a possibility to short it. So. So I'm going to I'm going to put here like another section I'm going to create like waiting for a pattern to form waiting for a pattern or breakout. Okay, so this is a very good way to structure this where I'm waiting for a pattern or a breakout. So I go back to grass right now and it doesn't look like it's going to make another high. So I I'm I'm more confident now so I'm going to add $5,000 to my short. 
Okay, so I'm a little bit more confident about this guy not breaking out. So now I'm in a 10k short. If I made $500 today, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that. That's good enough. Adding it to everything else that I make, like it's all good. But the moment that it breaks above the high, I'm gonna exit grass, right? It doesn't make sense to stay in this position, you know, if I'm if it's gonna break out, right? Because you never know, it could be extended waves and so on like that. So I might be wrong and I, I accept that and acknowledge that, right? So I'm just gonna test my alerts. To make sure that you know that they're on so grass is a really good pick i have my alert set but i think it's about to make lower highs now like from here i think it's gonna at least go down like maybe one or two percent before it attempts to break up so because of that i'm confident i'm gonna add ten thousand more uh, soon actually not not quite yet but i i just can't see like you know, a potential case where it goes up right now. So I think I'm going to add $10,000. I'm in a $20,000 short now for grass. So, yeah. So let's just keep going down the list. So SUI is, uh, SUI, SUI is one of those coins that's still going right now. So high priority, it goes to it because SUI is doing very well. So now we have IO. We have SUI on the watch list to trade today, and we have grass right now that's looking kind of bearish. And then there's hamster that has been that has you know been devastated already. It has made five very clear waves. We've been trading that right. We made very good money on that. But now the question is: Is this a dip? Is that a dip where it's going to rally? I don't know about that. Okay, I don't know about that. Maybe. So because if we don't know, I don't catch dips, man. It's not me. So I move on from that coin. So ENA is also a coin that's been moving up substantially and it's near a top probably. So we're gonna put that on the high priority as well. Now we go back to grass and we see that it's looking pretty bearish, right? So grass is, was actually going to be a very good short. You can see how it actually rejected the way that I called it and how maybe, maybe even like this was the fifth wave like that, right? So this is a possibility as well. Maybe it's still going to rally upwards. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Fuck, I don't know. But, you know, it's, it doesn't look that bullish right now. It's It's got the bearishly diverging RSI. It's, it's fighting very hard right now with kernels across the board. So I just think that it's more likely to come down than up. It can't even break above the 30-second kernel. Right, so I'm probably gonna scalp like you know four or five hundred dollar profit here, and that's honestly okay for me. <laughs> five hundred dollars a day, guys, is fifteen thousand dollars a month. You know, it's a substantial amount of money. Fifteen thousand dollars a month is one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. Right, of course, you're not gonna be trading every single day, so I'm up a hundred bucks on this trade now. I probably take my stop, well, my, my, my profit, like you know, a little bit later. I'll add 5,000 more, right? Because the confidence seemed to be pretty good. But not. I'm not gonna add more than that because I'm aware of my potential loss as well. Like maybe I'll lose this trade still. You just never know. But, you know, based off of kernels and everything is looking good. So let's go to Nero and let's actually let's go to GOAT. GOAT is, is literally correcting already. So we don't care much about GOAT. We want a coin that's still kind of at the top end, right? Like kind of like Ina. Right, so Eden's at the top, still going up. Right, we want a coin like that. Gold has corrected already. We don't want that. We want Nero's already corrected. We don't want that. So Arc M is also still rallying. So now go. So we we now go to my grass position. Looks like I might actually get stopped out here. Right, so that's okay. I'm I'm aware of the, of the potential of me getting stopped out. Right, so. So here we go, I, I'm gonna get stopped out here. I'm gonna close my short. Looks like I was wrong for this trade, right? And that's okay. Grass, I gotta do it on my phone. So, may, or maybe that was even the final fifth wave, right? That's a, a possibility as well. So it, it still looks like it could have been the very final fifth wave or the fifth wave is making a diagonal, right? It's making a diagonal to finish. So because of that, I'm not really that inclined to finish my, to close my position yet. Not at all, actually. So because of that, 
you know, maybe, just maybe it's going to make a, an ending fifth wave diagonal that's going to finish off just like that that I showed you. But of course, if it starts to spike up, then then maybe I'm gonna, then I'm definitely going to close my position. But but whenever you guys are trading, like go into your phone and and check the data. You know, the data is very important to understand the trading, uh, the info, and then you go to uh, trading rules so you can see how much you can close at a time. And it says here I can close thirty thousand at a time. So that's going to allow me to market execute accordingly. Okay. So anyways, we're going to go back to this trade very, very soon. I don't mind taking a loss in front of you guys, you know, so I don't really care. It doesn't bother me, man. All right. So this coin is um, much more bullish than we think, right? Much more. Way more bullish than we think. So, and actually it looks like it might even go parabolic, right? So because of that, I'm, I'm really ready to exit my position. Newer coins can easily end up screwing you over if you're not careful, if the greed is too strong. Where's the rest of the data? I don't like that, how it's lagging. So here's going to be my loss right away. I'm just looking like so closely right now. I, I still think that this was like, you know, it's still making a fifth wave somewhere in there. I think it's going to make a diagonal to be honest. So because of that, I'm going to close my position on my phone. Yeah, I'm going to take I'm going to take my loss here soon, like very very soon, but it's still looking like there's pressure, right? Like looks like a diagonal is going to form to be quite honest, you know, like something like that maybe. Either that or this fifth wave is going to get extended, right? That's kind of one of the only two cases. It's going to get extended or I'm going to be right, and, but maybe I'll take a $1000 loss, which I'm okay with too. So this, this structure is not a structure I would normally encourage anybody to short, okay? So I gotta pause this and post it in Discord. Okay, so I'm down $800,000 will be my cap. This coin is really running. It's not making your traditional fifth wave, right? So I'm gonna get the fuck out of this trade very, very soon. If not now already. I'm just wondering if like, you know, if, if there's, you know, a little one, two, three, four, and the, this is like basically a fifth, right? And, and that's the fifth and then it finishes and then it's done. So that's the reason why I'm hanging around right now, just to see, okay? I'm t very tempted to add to my position, but you see the bearishly diverging between these guys. So so that because of that i i don't really want to exit it yet i also see this trend line here which is which is saying to me that possibly you know possibly i could be right about this maybe i'm going to give it literally one more wave and that's it once i give it one more wave i'm out guys <sighs> i'm going to post this to discord coins I'm watching today. All right, so if this trend line breaks, I'm probably gonna go in. Like I'm gonna add more to my position. Now let's look for a kernel that it's actually, you know, supporting above. So the main kernel would be the two minute uh, three minutes. Three minutes. A very good kernel. Very good. So, but this structure, like our size, going, it's not higher yet, you know. But this, this does look like it's possibly gonna top right away. 
because you know there's no way to look at it other than the perspective of a one, a two, a three, A, B, C, D, E, and maybe like a five right there. Like maybe there's gonna be one more wave, right? And that's it. Like I'm talking about like that. So if it flies up, I'm out, right? But if I'm if I'm right about this, then it's gonna basically do this. But we'll see, right? We just don't know. I'm really ready to take my loss though. I don't think I won this trade. But we were in every right to enter this trade because this really did look like the fifth wave up there. Like this one here really did look like a fifth wave. So now we're just wondering if this fifth wave is just being slightly extended with a fifth, right? With like a, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more maybe, and then it's gonna pop down or what? So now I'm debating on like whether I should be adding to my position or not. Or if I'm gonna be taking on too much risk. Because this looks like, you know, this looks like a typical fifth wave one, three, and five. So it does look very typical in many ways. Right? So I'm very tempted to actually add like double down. Uh, very soon I'm gonna make this decision of doubling down on my position or not. Because you see this trend line right here, right? The one I'm showing you right now. I mean, if that trend line breaks, of course I'm gonna add to my position. I'm talking about this trend line, like that's just about to break. I'll make it yellow, right? This yellow one right there. I mean, why would I not add? There we go, it broke down. It definitely broke down. Okay. Actually, I, I just I just add a little bit more. I, I don't want to leverage too high. Okay, it didn't it didn't quite quite break down yet. I'm gonna add more if it hits my break even price. So now we see let's see if there's any kernels. So it's not exactly breaking down right now. It's not making any lower highs. It actually is trying to recover back up there. So it's. The conviction's not that high to be adding to a position, right? So these decisions, they need to constantly be made. The three minute MACD is ready to close down like in about two, three minutes, but we ended up getting a recovery. See, see the recovery at the, at the kernel? So the kernel at the two minute ended up recovering. That does not give me confidence really, right? So now I'm, I'm wondering what the fuck is going on? So let's see if the confidence is going to increase. Let's take a look at the open interest. Open interest is about 15 million only. So now let's take a look at some more detailed analysis on, on um, mm, yeah, that, that was a really good bounce actually, like a fucking solid bounce. But I still believe that it can easily drop down. So maybe I'll make an extended fifth maybe I'm gonna post this on discord I wait, I wait, I wait. I'm tired, I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, so I think that that it's going now, it's probably gonna run. So I'm gonna add 25K, I think, very soon. I'm gonna add 25,000. Okay, so now we're in a 50K short. I think that I won this trade, I'm going for 2%. Thousand a day keeps, keeps a real job away. So it broke my trend line. It tried to get back in. It rejected going back up. I'm now at my broken even. Also, the two minute, um, the two minute kernel is breaking. It's flying right now, right? The the thirty second MACD, one minute thirty second, and hold on. Thirty second and and one minute is going is actually going down right now. The two minutes going down, the 
three minutes is about to hit some stupid ass support right here, which I don't like, right? So, so this is the support of the kernel. I think that if this three minute kernel breaks, it will fly down. That's, that's what I believe. Okay, but the last thing we want is to have like a flat correction. Like a flat correction as in like, you know, A bounces here, then a B is way higher, and then a C like that. And then then it starts to rally, right? So I'm really, really watching my, my risk right now. So let's just see. But you know, the 30 second, if you notice, it's trending below it now. So I'm I'm ready to take a loss, to be honest. I'm not feeling that confident about this trade right now. I'm probably gonna limit it to a thousand only. And that's it. Man, it's not opening. Fucking Binance. I pause it for now. Yo, elite group. Okay, so this this does look like five waves, right? Like there's no doubt about it. It looks like it's five waves. Okay, it does. The R size barely diverging on the five minute. Maybe not on the higher time frames because you know the the structure is too short to be looking at that. So this this looks like five, but man, it could get an extended wave, which is worrying the shit out of me. Not worrying me, but it's a concern, right? So if the three minute kernel breaks, then then that would be a really good place to add to your position and you would most likely win this trade. This could just be the first correction upwards, you know, where it's consolidating into this little tiny range and then it breaks, right? So it's you can see this kind of range that it's making right now. So so the kernel is going to coincide with that. So Right, so I think that like on a break below, you know, 340, 345, 344 would be a really, really good entry if it's very clear, but you gotta really watch it on a low time frame, right? And the stop should be should be very soon, like if you are in a trade already, because this, this coin looks I can't identify the structure. And because I can't identify the fifth wave structure, you know, it's it doesn't really leave a lot of confidence. But I think that there's like a seventy percent chance it's gonna it's gonna go down instead of up. Just 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 hang on to that kernel, okay? The kernel I'm I'm talking about the three minute kernel, guys. That's very important to understand. The three minute kernel is at three dollars and forty five cents. Now always remember, there's no guarantees of winning any trade, right? There's just allocating risk and making sure we stop ourselves out accordingly if it goes wrong. All right, guys. Say my fucking three favorite words. What is it, guys? It's I told you so. That's what it is. So I'm going to exit slowly. I think it's going to give a slight bounce here, maybe. See the white line? This is a reasonable support for now. But I don't think it's going to hold, to be quite honest. I think it's gonna end up keep it's gonna keep going because why would t one tiny little wick right there hold that structure down? Nope, it's not gonna hold it. So, but maybe it will. Maybe it will. You know, like you just never know in crypto. Looking at the thirty second time frame. Momentum is really down right now. This, this is a tiny consolidation. My close is going to be around 3.37. Come on. 30 seconds is really fighting. Right, you, see, you see the 30 second? This is, a, this is not a bullish pattern. This is the bears are pushing the fuck down pattern. See that? It just got rejected. Ooh, ooh, volume. It's just trying to smash here, guys. See that? Ah, oh, there we go. I'm right. Fuck, man. I'm gonna close my shorts. Close it. Fifteen hundred dollars, guys. I'm gonna keep closing, and boom. 
Oh, yeah. $1,500, guys. Boop. Motherfucker. That felt good. Ah, that felt good. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it.